For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Well, I don't have to tell you, these are the days in which we live. The demonic activity that would destroy the faith of some, the obsession with things, with the world, with self-love, self-occupation, and a rejection of the truth. The word that's used here for turn away, someone has written, is like a windmill whose owner has turned the vein so it will not catch the wind. It's a conscious choice to reject the truth of God. These are the last days. The apostle, as he writes to Timothy, speaks about the last days as being days of rampant corruption. Nonetheless, he offers to Timothy a hope that even those in the last days may remain faithful and true to the Lord, to purge ourselves. Now, at the beginning of the church age, when Paul writes to the Corinthians, he says, you purge out the leaven. It was a corporate act of purging out of that which corrupted. But now, the corruption is so pervasive that the apostle doesn't call us so much to try and repair all of the damage that has been done, but at least to take responsibility for our own lives and to purge ourselves from the corrupting influence that we find all around us. Of course, what the burden of Paul's heart is all the way through these letters to Timothy and Titus is that the truth of God, the doctrine he calls it, is healthful, wholesome, health-producing. You are what you eat, he says to Timothy. And if you feed on the word of God, lay hold of its truth, allow it to have its effect in your life, you will be preserved from the corruption and the evil that is all around you. As the world gets darker, the light of the believer ought to shine all the brighter. You say, well, it's tougher here now for Christians to live the Christian life. I don't know that it's any tougher. It's different. It's difficult. It always has been difficult. But today, in some ways, it ought to be easier to shine for the Lord Jesus because the contrast is so obvious between someone who is honestly seeking to live for the Lord and the darkening scene around us. In these last days, it is important for us to keep our focus on the Lord Jesus.